Finally, in this chapter, we're going to be looking at the Adobe Media Encoder. Adobe Media Encoder CS4 is a new application. This used to be kind of part of After Effects and Premiere Pro, and now it's a standalone application. In case you're wondering where to get it, you should already have it. Adobe Media Encoder CS4, along with Device Central and Bridge, now come with After Effects. The purpose of Adobe Media Encoder CS4 is to re-encode media. As it says, you can drag and drop video files into this little area here, which is kind of like a render queue, or you can click the Add button. So now you don't even have to open up After Effects if you just want to convert a video into a different file format. But it gets better. If we go to the File menu, we could select Add After Effects Composition. From here, we can navigate to an After Effects project on the left-hand side. Let's say, for example, Render Multiple, the project we looked at in the last movie. Click it once to select it, and then all the compositions in that project will show up on the right-hand side of this dialog box. So I'm going to click Laziest Martian Ever and click OK to import that into Adobe Media Encoder. And now we could select a format to output to. From this drop-down, you'll notice that we don't have quite as many file formats, but all the essentials are here. Let's say we want to output this to QuickTime, so I'll select QuickTime. I could change the preset from this drop-down, or I can select Edit Export Settings, and then I can go to Preset and change presets here. Or I go to the video menu and change the video codec from a large list of codecs. Once I'm done setting my video settings, I can click OK. Click Output File to determine what the file should be called and where it should be saved. And again, just like the render queue, I can continue adding jobs. And once I'm done, I click Start Queue to begin the rendering process. Now, the benefit here is that I don't have to have After Effects open when I do this. Or if I have After Effects open, I can render stuff while I continue to work in After Effects. So if you've got really tight deadlines and you need to make some small renders while you continue to work, Adobe Media Encoder CS4 is an absolute lifesaver.